as I mentioned, I have two hobbies at that age. One of them is stamps collection, and second is collecting uh, pictures about space, shuttles, rockets, science, and technology. At that age, I don't know really why or what attracted me to this kind of hobbies. But later on, I realized that it is really the path of my life representing these two hobbies. The first one was about collecting different stamps, different colors, different countries, different languages, different cultures. And that's the way I live my life, visiting different countries, exploring, learning new language, <coughs> and expanding my uh, network all over the world. The second one, later on, uh, I was lucky to join, uh, when I was studying in the United States, to join one of the largest ever system built by human beings. It's called Earth Observing System. It is mission to planet Earth. And in this project, I really learned a lot of things that never been learned before. Like getting together as a team, multidisciplinary team, uh, they speaking different languages, they coming from every country all over the world, and also different disciplines. We talk in different language, but we have one goal to work together to uh, achieve the project goals. I also learned what's the meaning of creativity, uh, innovation, collaboration, entrepreneurship. All this I learned at this project. And I asked myself, Really, this is great experience. Why, during my study, I didn't learn all this? So, I discovered later that our educational system is not fulfilling all these factors and composing it and teaching it during, from elementary school to university. So, that means I passed through the same system that's long time. The same system that you are now going on. Same system. It doesn't change. And it is built over 200 years ago during the Industrial Revolution. Could you imagine that the educational system that we are really working on it right now is developed over 200 years ago and it's still going on without change. It's like production line. It's like fast food, standardized system. And the outcome, based on my experience as a professor and you too, that the learning outcome is very little. When you, after graduation, they will ask you what you know. What you can do for us, then I don't know. Because the current uh, education system is not effective enough to fulfill the needs and the challenges of the 21st century. So we need really something to change what we have right now. We need new ways of teaching, new ways of learning, and make you more interested, enthusiastic, and to build a human system. Education is not a mechanical system. It is really a human system. That uh, interaction and going ongoing collaboration between teacher, professors, students, researchers, etc. Now, when I ask about this great contributor, all of them are very famous, rich, and really they contributed to every human being on Earth. 
But the question, why these great men skipped their education? They didn't finish their education. I'm not encouraging you to skip your education, but let us learn why these people with the great mentality, great ideas, they didn't finish their uh, colleges. Because they didn't find what they are looking for. They have great ideas and they are seeking it outside the university. The current system don't fulfill the requirements for the 21st century. For example, the current system is really uh, one size fits all. And this is not really uh, the case. Everyone has his own talent, experience, needs, dreams, a specific way of learning. We don't learn all together at the same way and the same pace. We are also have our own past experience. And the, lear the, cur the current learning system uh, is one way. Everything is one way, passive learning. But you can learn with many ways, different ways. Not even sometimes face to face. You can also self-learning. Uh, you can also learn out of school. And there are many people among us here who are learning by themselves. Also, every student has his own way of learning and studying. We are unique uh, human beings. Uh, the quality of education also, it's not necessary that the quality of education should be expensive, not for private school. But with very simple methodologies available to any uh, school or university without really burden, expensive, you can really produce new knowledge and enjoy learning in this environment. So education, uh, the current education really facing this problem. And we need to think all together, including me, how we get out of this trap, how we overcome these kind of challenges. And I searched this. When I come back fee, uh, from the United States, I know for sure that there are ways and bring it back from there. It is about creativity. It's about innovation. It is about collaboration. It is about what we call it design thinking. That's why, although I'm uh, by study information technology background, but I changed my field because I know that the only way to develop our countries and take it to the next stage of 21st century, we have to be innovative, creative, and uh, build on entrepreneurship in every single student. Even professor should be entrepreneur, not only students. And that's the case. So also, education should be enjoyable, not compulsory. We need to enjoy what we are doing. If you enjoy what you're doing, you are not going to feel time. You are going to be productive. You are going to be enthusiastic. You are going to come up with uh, ideas that you never dreamed of. So we have to find a way. And likely, I came to Fatah University, and I started to establish a new uh, degree on innovation and entrepreneurship based on design thinking. We need an educational revolution. And if we looked at the telecommunication revolution, it started with uh, landlines in the past. I think many of you remember it. And then we have mobile. And then now we have smartphones. Our education system is still in the phase of landlines. It doesn't shift and move to the 21st uh, technology. This is the problem. 
And we insist to keep on like that without doing anything about it. Education is not holy. Education is human system that can be developed and make it better and more enjoyable. So we come up uh, based on my travel around the world with the uh, concept of design thinking, which I'm going to tell you about it in a minute. We, as I mentioned, need a revolution in education. And revolution means change. We need to change our mindsets, our way of thinking, and our action to make this kind of change. So with this kind of change, we can, with innovation and entrepreneurship, we can have uh, new ways of curriculum, new ways of space design, uh, processes and tools of education, systems, complete educational system, new technologies, and problem solving techniques. And could you imagine that one approach can include all these solutions and methodologies? It is the design thinking. Design thinking is a process. Steps that we apply here to solve problems. This problem could be in education itself, or could be industrial education, or social uh, innovation. So, these are the design thinking as a way of revol making revolution in education and change the, statist the, 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 uh, yeah, the static mode that we are in and bring the talents that's within every one of you and make you more enthusiastic and more interesting or interested in to learn. I have here some students in this place here who are really went through this. And they told me, Professor, you'll be surprised. You are the only class I'm attending in all these classes. Uh, you changed my life. Now I have to think about my future. And with design thinking, I really can continue and develop and build my future. Design thinking is reflective process, reflections, and also unleashing the human creativity and innovation. It's also doing by practicing, putting hands on. It is operation based on empathy and user-oriented empathy, understand those who are related to this kind of problems, and produce a solution that can meet their satisfactions. They need it, and they waited for you to come up with this kind of solution. It's also based on trial and error, experimentation, till you come up with the best solution you ever come, not as a single. It is not your solution. It is not my solution. It is our solution, teamwork. Also, as I mentioned, it is teamwork. It is multidisciplinary. You remember when I talked about NASA in the beginning? Multidisciplinary team, people coming from all over the world, different fields, but they are working together. Same thing in design thinking. We bring in students from any field, even psychology, middle school, liberal arts, languages, doesn't matter where are you from. Because we believe in human being creativity. We believe that uh, more brains make more better solutions. So testing and iteration, it is active teaching, it is brainstorming, and problem solving technique. It's also different ways of learning, project-based learning, not grades based on memorization. Learning by doing, self-learning, uh, discovery 
learning and collaboration learning. It is a way of thinking, different way of thinking, not only one way. Analytical, critical, uh, constructive, and in intuitive, and creative thinking. So this is really the best way of learning, is to enjoy what you're doing, doing differently, and not only you learn inside the school, you go out and learn and observe. So I'm presenting today a revolutionary way of learning and teaching from elementary school to universities. So it fits every level of education. The process is five steps. We start with discovery, learning the problem, understanding, collecting all possible information, uh, also uh, observation and interview people outside the university, then interpretation, what we collected, which way we go to solve this problem, and then start, till here we are, we are not thinking about solution. We are just trying to understand the problem. And then generating, brainstorming, many evidence. It is divergent thinking. And then conversion, select the best idea, and then make a prototype. Take this prototype and give it back to the stakeholder, asking them, do you like it? What we can do about it? Can we add to it? And so on, until we get the best solution, and then commercialize it afterwards. This is design thinking. So it is up to you to think about how we can put design thinking in our education to resolve the 21st century uh, problem, to uh, meet your interest, your expectation, and building the future for the next generation. Thank you.